Hello, this is Math 2270 coming to you from the College of DuPage during the summer of 2020. And the title of this lecture is Eigenvalues and Vectors Done Light. Okay, so if A, a matrix, times a vector, eta, is equal to lambda times eta, the same vector, uh, we say that lambda is an eigenvalue and uh, the vector eta is an associated eigenvector. And this seriously depends on the matrix A, but the point is that this uh, eigen uh, vector does not change direction when uh, mapped through A, it just gets shorter or longer. And finding these eigenvalues and eigenvectors is a key step in our solution technique for uh, first order differential equation systems. And uh, it's important to realize that for technical reasons, uh, we really don't want uh, eta to be the zero vector. So uh, what we do is we do some algebra with vectors. Uh, we do have to call this the identity um, matrix, the n-dimensional identity matrix. And that means you have ones down the diagonal and zero elsewhere. And that means you can actually do this calculation. But then I can factor the vector eta out, and I have this. Remember that this is not equal to zero, so that means this system of linear equations has multiple solutions. That means it's a dependent system. You learned that in your pre-calc. And that means that the determinant of this matrix has to be zero. Solving this equation gives us the eigenvalues. So uh, make a note of this because you'll need to come back to that time and time again. Okay, some more definitions. Uh, that determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero. That's an nth degree polynomial on this side and it's called the characteristic polynomial. And uh, so we have to solve that for lambda. And if it's an n by n matrix, we'll have n eigenvalues if you include the repeated eigenvalues with a higher multiplicity. So if this is the complete list of eigenvalues for A, including all repeated values, then if lambda occurs only once in the list, we call it simple. If it occurs uh, with a multiplicity of k, we call it multiplicity k. And um, if these are the eigen values, the simple eigenvalues in the list, and they correspond to these eigenvectors, then the eigenvectors are all linearly independent. And this is a much more complicated situation, but if lambda is an eigenvalue of multiplicity greater than 1, then lambda can have anywhere from 1 to k linearly independent eigenvectors. So here's a problem. I will do this example. You'll do another one in a bit. So I want to work through and find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the following matrix. So this is the matrix we start with. So the first thing we do is we work to find the eigenvalues. So we're going to say a minus lambda i. So here is a minus lambda times i. This is the 2 by 2 identity. And then we're subtracting lambda off the uh, diagonal elements. Now, you really can go directly to this step when you're working the problem. And then we'll take the determinant of that. And the determinant of this is going to be this one times this one minus this one times that one. And there can be minus and minus action going on. And in fact, in this case, there is. So this determinant in this case is equal to lambda squared plus 4 lambda minus 5. And that factors. We're setting that equal to 0, you remember. And that means the eigenvalues are lambda equal minus 5 and lambda equal 1. Now we need to find the eigenvectors for each of these simple eigenvalues. So what we're going to do is we're going to take lambda 1 equal minus 5. We're going to substitute it in this equation and solve what we get. And then for lambda 2 equal 1, we're going to put 1 in this equation and we will solve for the eigenvectors. So that's what's going to happen and we expect these to be linearly independent, the eigenvectors. Okay, so here we go. I put uh, lambda equal minus 5 into that a minus lambda i equation, and I'm taking it times eta, and I get the ve 0, 0 vector. Now, if you look at that and think about uh, matrix multiplication, that means we're saying that 7 times a to 1 plus 7 times a to 2 is equal to 0. That means that a to 1 is equal to minus a to 2. 
So we have this, but eta 1 was equal to minus eta 2, so we have that. And we want to put this in simplest form, so I'm going to take eta 2 to be 1, and that is the uh, eigenvector. So for the first one, this is the eigenvector for lambda equal minus 5. Uh, this is for the uh, next eigenvector, we call it lambda 2, and this is equal to 1. We substitute 1 in there, and we set up this equation again, setting it equal to 0. Now this time it's going to be a to 1 plus 7, a to 2 is equal to 0. That means that a to 1 is equal to minus 7, a to 2. And you set that up like this, and if you take uh, a to 2 to be 1, you get that this is the uh, vector. So summarizing, we have lambda equal minus 5 gives us lambda 1, uh, gives us this first eigen vector, and lambda 2 is 1, and that gives us the second one. And note that they're not multiples of each other. That means they're linearly independent. All right, so here's one for you to do. Find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this following matrix. Yes, there are fractions. You know what to do. And we'll see how you did in 13.